Wonderful. So let's start. Turn the slide sharing. It's unusual for, for us to present during the traveling, but yeah, we decided to not skip this demo. So give me just a few more seconds. All right, so I hope that you can see a screen. Um, I'm welcoming you on the, our demo number 16 already. And today we're going to discuss the cross-chain transfers. Uh, we are preparing release. So we're going to through uh, the features which are going to be in that release. Uh, we're going to briefly take a look on what we have in the website update. So uh, yeah, we'll take a look at this beauty. And also we will take a look on the roadmap. So how we're doing good so far. So let's start. While we're waiting others to join, uh, I would like to remind you that uh, we have our social media links listed here. So feel free to take a look on our website, <laughs> which we'll cover uh, also on this demo uh, and join our Telegram channels as well as like group uh, announcements and others. Uh, also follow us on Twitter, Element, Medium, and subscribe on the YouTube where we publish demos like this. So let's take a look on the cross-chain transfers. Uh, I remember that we last time show you the user interfaces. Uh, I don't think that it changed much comparing to the last time. Uh, what changed is how we represent the fees on the confirmation screen. And we will take uh, a look during the demo, like uh, the how it looks in the details, right? Uh, but overall, the user interface is as simple as it possible, right? Uh, and yeah, so that's how it looks like. Regarding the open channels on the Kusama and Polkadot, um, pretty much lots of parachains are communicating with each other. So as soon as parachains uh, now bootstrapping, it tends to open the channels with all other networks. So right now is the right timing to introduce the cross-chain transfers because users receiving uh, the tokens on different networks and now they have an opportunity to actually move them from one network to another. And with update, which is coming on Nova with the cross-chain transfers, that will be possible to do on the mobile. So that's how it looks on the Kusama right now. And that's how it looks on the Polkadot right now. Now let's talk about the cross-chain transfers release. Uh, with a 3.0 update, we're going to roll out the cross-chain transfer option, obviously. That will be a built into the regular send flow. And if that uh, the cross-chain transfer is supported for the token that you selected, then you will see an option uh, like you have here on the bottom right uh, corner, right? Uh, like send dot from Polkadot to Moonbeam, and you can select uh, all the available options for your cross-chain transfer. Now, another thing which would be uh, released uh, in addition to that is that we spent lots of efforts on calculating the fees properly. So if you have used uh, the cross-chain applications before uh, in the Polkadot, you probably notice that as soon as you do the cross-chain transfer and you're trying to send like a round amount, let's say like 10 dots, uh, what you will end up with on the recipient side, so on the other network to which you're sending the tokens, you will receive something like 9.99 and there is some like uh, infinity amount of numbers. So we wanted to solve this issue because the UX should be uh, the same as the regular transfers uh, on chain or any other banking applications or financial applications, right? So in our case, uh, in Nova, that will allow you to send exact same amount that you entered. So if you entering something like 10 dots uh, on one side. On the other side, you will receive exact 10 dots. So that was our goal. In some of the cases, it's hard to predict the precise fee, right? So we adding the part, uh, the really small one of the fees on the recipient side. So it should be uh, either the precise amount or slightly higher, uh, including the like portion of the fees, which both options are much better than receiving less than was expected. So that will be also presented on the demo. Regarding the set of default uh, cross-chain transfers, which we are going to roll out with a 3.0 update, you can see them on the screen. So um, for the dot token, it will be able to send it from Polkot to Moonbeam and back. 
for the ACA token that will be able to send from Akala to Moonbeam and back, for the Kusama, uh, so communication between Kusama and Moonriver, for Karura, uh, between Karura and Moonriver, for Mover between Bifrost and Moonriver, and for the BNC token between the Karura and Moonriver. Now, uh, we are continue to adding um, more channels to the Nova, and it's kind of a work to be done uh, because on the each side, we need to precisely calculate the fees, set up the configuration for the Nova so that it will understand how to form the proper uh, transaction for the cross-chain transfers. So you can expect that uh, we will uh, add more and more and more cross-chain transfers as we go, right? The good thing here is that for the most of the cases, let's say for transfer tokens from uh, Moon River to Karura, that would be uh, added kind of um, in the same way how we add networks or new tokens or the dApps, which means that you will not be required to update the app itself. Uh, you will just receive an updated configuration uh, whenever you open the app and that new um, cross-chain transfers will be available to you. All right, so I see the question. Do we still need to teleport KSM from state mine to Kusama? Uh, do, 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 do. Can you elaborate on this question, Cole? And we will proceed with uh, the demo itself. So let me stop the screen sharing for the slides and let me start the screen sharing for my mobile device, which I haven't done for a while now. And all right. So, can you see my screen sharing from iOS device? I think you should. All right. So, let's try to do the cross chain transfers or even let's see how it looks like uh so i will go to dot token on the polka dot so i will hit the send and now you can see that i have an option to change the destination network let's say right so i have an option to select another network instead of polka dot as a recipient network so i will tap here and as a first option, I have a Moonbeam. And uh, as I mentioned before, we're going to extend this list as we go. So you can expect that next week uh, there will be more options here. So if I will select a Moonbeam here, the title on the top will be updated. So now it, it makes more sense, like sending the token from Polkadot to Moonbeam, right? And now I need to select a recipient. For the more convenience, we decided to add the button myself because users um, are going to transfer the tokens between uh, their own accounts. And as soon as I click the myself button, that will actually take my Moonbeam account from my wallet and will paste the address uh, right here. So I don't need to go, uh, let's say, back to the assets list, uh, scroll to the Moonbeam account, select XC dot here, tap receive, tap copy, then go back to the send. So that flow is not needed because you can just tap the myself uh, button and that would be it. So you can see that we have uh, two options, myself and paste and also a scan a QR code. But for the convenience, I can just type in myself or even paste because that's basically uh, the same address. Now let's enter the amount. For the amount, we will enter something like 40, let's say 0.1, right? You can see that for the fees, we calculating now both. So first part is a network fee. Uh, this is just the same fees that you do, uh, that you are paying as soon as you do like the on-chain transfer. And also now you have an information about the cross-chain fee and that fee will be extracted during the process of the cross-chain transfer. So on the any uh, participating network. So we hit down here, we tap continue. And now we have a nice confirmation screen, which actually sum ups everything that uh, we did. So we are sending uh, 40.1 dot, right? From the network Polkadot, from that wallet in Nova. This is like a, your account on the Polkadot uh, from which tokens will be uh, sent. Uh, you see the fees corresponding for the network, for the cross chain. Uh, and here you have a message, which I just explained to you that uh, we are adding the fees on top of the amount you sent. And in the most cases, 
this exact piece would be used for processing the cross-chain transfers. And in the very rare, rare cases, you will receive slightly more uh, based on this amount of the fee on the recipient side. But once again, that's much better receiving less than was entered. And the last section here is uh, to which network and which uh, recipient account is going to get uh, these tokens. And we can tap here, copy address and view and subscan. So let's tap a confirm here. We can see that transaction is submitted. Everything <laughs> happened much faster than uh, I wanted to explain it, but you can see that the, our outgoing transfer is uh, persisting in the history and it's already confirmed. Our transferable amount also changed uh, pretty fast. So now we uh, have 40.1 less dots uh, in the Polkadot. So we go back here and now we can see that on the Moonbeam network, I have now 40.1 dot exactly uh, which I just sent here, right? So now let's do it uh, in the back way, right? So I go here to the Moonbeam. I tap Polkadot, I tap myself. Now I can uh, leverage from the max button, right? So I don't want any of the dots to be remained on the Moonbeam. I hit continue and I hit confirm. And um, yeah, you can see that it's already sent. So we now uh, have zero dots uh, on the Moonbeam network. So we go back, we go to the Polkadot and we just saw that that amount was updated. So the cross-chain transfer is happening blazingly fast. You can see that uh, if I will do it much faster way without explaining things, you can do like a back and forth in less than, uh, I don't know, 40 seconds, 30 seconds if you're fast enough, right? So. Everything is happening blazingly fast um, and Nova shows you like exactly what's going on. There is one thing what we are going to work on as an improvement uh, besides adding more cross-chain options, like for example, for the Polkadot, right? Uh, to have like Akala and other networks here. Uh, We're going to work on something like a cross-chain uh, transfer history because right now is a state that you can see your um, outgoing transfer. So whenever I do the cross-chain transfers from the Polkadot, you can see it in my history here, right? So uh, those records are basically telling me about this. But whenever I go to the Moonbeam, right now there is no data source, which uh, I'm sorry, that's Glimmer. Uh, right now there is no data source for, um, for any application, including Nova to display incoming cross-chain transfers. But we are going to work on that with a subquery team uh, so that we can uh, have the the best UX basically for the cross-chain transfer. So that will be displayed in the history as well. So yeah, that's an example of what we have uh, right now for the cross-chain transfers. As I mentioned, there are a couple more tokens that we support. For example, if you go to the Kusama, uh, we can select uh, sending KSM to Moon River um, and yeah, uh, all the according to the list. So yeah, uh, we are planning to update it pretty much soon. Uh, initial plan was to update it uh, today, but uh, we have been busy on the polka decoded. So yeah, expect it to be available either, uh, might be the early next week, like a Monday, or yeah, later next week. Now, let me go back with a screen sharing for the, my computer. Right, and the slideshow. Great, the new website, something what we have been working as well in parallel. So the reasoning is pretty much simple. Uh, our previous website, uh, unfortunately, I don't have any images <laughs> of it uh, for us to compare, but it was uh, lacking the details, right? So it was not having much information about our product and Nova Wallet right now is the leading mobile app for the Polkadot. So we have to educate people about it. So we have to uh, explain our product in an easy and uh, pretty much nice way. So if you will go to the novawallet.io, uh, you will see updated version of the website. Well, our title page is remained like a simple because that's um, a call to action web uh, page. You have your download links here 
and you have like a title of what's, what exactly the word is, right, with a small representation. We also have like slightly below all the less, like high level view of the features. Uh, that's very much uh, the information which uh, we shown on the poll code decoded slides. Uh, but yeah, you have only the main features like the, how many networks we support, tokens, the NFTs, the cross chain transfers already there. <laughs> that's like website from the future. Uh, also the compatibility with the wallets because lots of people are asking about like import export use cases, right? So we decided to explain it right in front of the web, uh, right on the website so that you can use the same accounts, for example, in Talisman and Nova, you can import and export them. Uh, the same as for other wallets like MetaMask, Polka Wallet, Polka.js. Yeah, basically any web free wallet or any self custodial wallet is supported together with Nova. And we have like this preview of features like staking, crowd loan, polka dot jobs with like more information below. So you can have the basic details about the staking for each coin, such as API and how many tokens stake, minimum stake, and so on. As well as you have information about like what tokens are coming soon to Nova, for example, Turing, Bifrost, Edgeware. Yeah, in addition to what we already have, like Glimmer, Mover, uh, Alif Zero, Polkadex tokens. So yeah, uh, there is also a description like why staking uh, using the no word is exciting and amazing. So like that you can stake in one click, analyze your staking, manage your staking. Um, the same goes for the crowd loans. Uh, I really like this picture. And the pol Polkadot DApps. For Polkadot DApps, it's really crucial for people to show that we have this power of Polkadot.js and MetaMask combined because lots of people still asking us or still not knowing uh, yeah, basically the power of our uh, Novidia browser, right? That they are able to connect to any application in the ecosystem which supports Polkadot.js or MetaMask. So website would solve this uh, issue. The roadmap is also here because yeah, many folks are asking about this. And of course, like uh, our team uh, with all our social media links. So yeah, let us know what you think about the website. Uh, what else should we put here? And yeah, we would be happy to receive any feedback. Now let's go back to our presentation. And the roadmap. So for the roadmap, it's pretty much um, the same as it was before. Uh, we are approaching the cross-chain transfers to be completed, right, to be released. Uh, as well as uh, we are starting to develop the cold wallet support uh, starting uh, the uh, July, right? Uh, we are also exploring other uh, possibilities for collaborations with other teams. So expect this to be updated in terms of like probably the end of the year in terms of the features, right? But yeah, you now have access to the roadmap right uh, on the website and we will keep that updated. And of course, you're very welcome to submit your feature ideas uh, by going to uh, nowallet.kenny.io uh, and yeah express your ideas or review others. So yeah, that pretty much sums up uh, what I have already told. So we have finished the cross-chain transfers. So that's something what we are going to push to the Google Play and App Store, uh, most likely today, right? And we will wait for the review uh, to be completed just so to announce that this is available to be developed. Uh, after that, we're going to continue with subquery uh, because uh, we committed to do this nice history for the cross-chain transfers, both uh, outgoing and incoming, so that you have the full picture uh, of what's going on when you do the cross-chain transfers. And the next point for us is, of course, to execute the second Kusama Treasury grant, part of which uh, are called wallets, which is like the next item on our list. So I think that will be it from my side. Uh, Thank you so much for everyone who participated and I wish you a good day. See you in two weeks. Bye.